ever imagined a car with more power than two diesel trucks combined? Not a Lamborghini, not a Ferrari, but a crazy creation from Sweden. Yup, this is the Koenigsegg Gemera. This car isn't just an ordinary supercar. With a total output of 2,300 horsepower, the Gamera immediately set a world record as the most brutal production car on the planet. And what makes it even more unique is that all this technology is packed into a single car, the Koenigsegg Gamera. Koenigsegg even offers an engine choice that's truly mind-boggling. First, there's a three-cylinder 2.0-liter engine that only delivers 600 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque. Imagine, an engine that small, yet its power is on par with a full-fledged supercar. If that's not enough, there's an option for a V8 twin-turbo 5.0-liter engine taken from the Jesco, modified, and the result is insane. 1,500 horsepower with 1,500 newton meters of torque. But wait, Koenigsegg didn't stop at the V8 engine. They added a sophisticated electric motor called Dark Matter. This six-phase axial flux motor can contribute an additional 800 horsepower and 1,250 newton meters of torque, even though it only weighs 39 kilograms. When you add it all up, the Jamera's total output reaches 2,300 horsepower with 2,750 newton meters of torque. To put that into perspective, the power is equivalent to almost two Ford F450 Super Duty trucks with a 6.7 liter turbo diesel engine, enough to make us imagine just how crazy and massive the power we're discussing is. What makes it even crazier is that Christian von Koenigsegg once said the Gamera can run fully electric on all wheels at once, or we can choose to use full torque on the front or rear wheels only. This is a flexibility you rarely find in a car of this class. The same thing goes for the tiny friendly giant engine. This engine can send its power directly to the this engine can send its power directly to the rear wheels via the transmission or even to the front wheels and can even be combined with the dark matter electric motor depending on the driving mode the driver chooses. Now, the question is, how is all this incredible power transferred to the wheels so smoothly? The engine's power first goes through a clutch that connects it to the transmission, which is then sent to the rear wheels. Koenigsegg synchronizes the gas engine, electric motor, and a drive system that can change according to the driver's mode. This combination is what keeps the Gamera nimble, at maximum power, and easy to control despite its extraordinary power. Additionally, there's a prop shaft that connects the engine to a special clutch, which is linked to the electric motor. And from there, power is transferred through the front differential. This clutch allows torque to be divided with high flexibility as needed. If we zoom in on the front differential, the electric motor has an output shaft that can rotate to the right and left. That's where all the precise torque control is achieved. Essentially, the Jamera can manage power to the front wheels very intelligently based on road conditions and the driver's style. This car can even lock one side of the differential. For example, if the left side is locked, all power is automatically redirected to the right wheel. The same goes for the opposite. If the right side is held, full torque will go to the left wheel. If the system is left open, the power can be flexibly distributed as needed. With this trick, Koenigsegg delivers ultra-precise traction control, as if each wheel has its own autonomy in receiving power. So it's not just about being fast, but also about how this 2,300 horsepower monster can be truly tame on the road. The car can also adjust the pressure of each clutch to determine how much torque is sent to each wheel. It all depends on the driver's mode. With a single touch, the driving experience can change drastically. When the engine starts, the system automatically opens the front and rear clutches, while the central clutch connecting the engine to the electric motor remains engaged. This is where the electric motor takes the main role. It spins the engine and restarts it without the driver having to do anything. After that, the driver can choose a mode as needed for example, rear wheel drive only. The system will automatically disengage a specific clutch, so the engine's power only flows to the rear wheels. That way, even when this 2,300 horsepower monster is working, the driver still has full control over the power flow. If the driver selects all-wheel drive mode, the system will automatically adjust the front clutch. The electric motor directly connects to the front wheels. The rear wheels continue to receive power from the engine, or a combination of the engine and the motor. 
The result is power flowing to all four wheels at once. This mode not only provides insane acceleration, but also gives extra stable traction when dealing with slippery roads or sharp turns at high speeds. Additionally, there's an option to recharge the battery while driving. This mechanism allows the engine to stay connected to the electric motor via the same clutch. This means that even if the car is in neutral, the engine can continue to spin and directly charge the battery without having to accelerate. And since we're talking about machines and components, here's something really useful for all of you who love automotive and engineering. Let me introduce you to JLCMC. JLCMC is a dedicated mechatronics components marketplace, the perfect place to find all kinds of parts at prices way cheaper than regular retail stores. What's even cooler, every product on JLCMC comes with a free 3D model download, so before you buy, you can actually preview the 3D model and make sure the size and fit are perfect for your project, or even for your custom car modifications. And here's the best part, for new users who sign up through the affiliate link below, JLCMC is giving away a $70 welcome coupon plus extra monthly coupons. A huge bonus if you've got a project in mind or simply want to experiment with new ideas. So if that sounds interesting, go check the link at the very top of the description, register, and claim your coupons. Alright, now let's get back to the Gamera, the insane machine from Sweden. One interesting detail, the dark matter electric motor and the V8X engine have the same red line, 8,000 RPM. This isn't a coincidence, it's part of Koenigsegg's trick to synchronize two different power sources. The transition from the engine to the electric motor, or vice versa, feels seamless without any jolts at all. The existing patents mention that the Gemera might use different gear ratios on the front axle, which is important for maintaining the efficiency and durability of the components when pushed to high speeds. On on the other hand, the electric motor has a natural limitation. For example, if the car is pushed to insane speeds, let's say 420 kilometers per hour, the system will automatically disconnect the electric motor at the front wheels. Why? Because at that speed, the gear ratio would force the motor to spin too fast, exceeding its mechanical limits. So the power from the front motor is cut, and all high-speed propulsion is handled by the main engine in the rear. Now let's look at the differences between the 2020 version of the Gamera and the latest one. The 2020 version was introduced as a radical concept, only using a three-cylinder engine and a torque converter without a transmission. The total power was claimed to be 1,700 horsepower with 3,500 newton meters of torque. The latest version uses a V8 twin turbo plus three electric motors with a total output of only 1,400 horsepower and 2,000 newton meters of torque, but the power distribution is more balanced and complex. The V8 twin turbo engine paired with the dark matter electric motor produces around 750 newton meters of torque with a combined total output of 2,300 horsepower. Of the total power, about 800 horsepower comes from the electric motor, while the battery has a capacity of 14 kilowatt hours. In a full power burst, the electric motor's boost only lasts about 84 seconds, but this can be extended through energy regeneration when lifting off the gas pedal or braking. The 115 liter fuel tank is equivalent to about 1,000 kilowatt hours of energy, allowing the car to intelligently combine the efficiency of the combustion engine with its smart hybrid system. All that insane power means nothing if the car can't control all that propulsion. The Koenigsegg Gamera has control that's almost on par with an electric car thanks to high-speed transmission software, a smart torque control system, minimal traction control. The result, Koenigsegg once broke a 0 to 400 km per hour record using only two-wheel drive with no electrification at all. The team's effort in creating this system, the algorithms, software, and testing at the Engelhole track is proof of how crazy they are about building a different kind of hypercar. And that's the genius of the Koenigsegg Gamera. The electric motor, super advanced transmission, and torquey control all work together to make that 2,300 horsepower feel insane. But honestly, who would dare to push all that power on a regular road? If you have a creative answer or just want to make people's heads spin, drop it in the comments. Which part amazes you the most and which one would make you think twice before hitting the gas?